What's up guys, Moral Mayhem here. Going to do a quick video on Farming Simulator 17 on cows. How to keep them happy, how to keep them productive, uh, keep them at 100%. Going to do a quick overview. We're going to try to do everything uh, that you guys are going to need. I'm going to try to keep the video short. So first things first, let's get into what you're going to need. Um, first of all, you're going to need a cultivator. Uh, you're not sure what a cultivator does, I am going to post a video on that. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's going to be a tractors and cultivators and basics things uh, that you need to do on a farm. This here is a uh, loader. It picks up whatever the whatever you're trying to pick up. This is a cultivator. You're going to need one of those to cultivate your fields. This here is a tedder. You're going to need this to make uh, straw out of the grass. Uh, next in line is a windrower. Uh, this is not a necessity until it comes to tedding the grass. You're going to, it's going to be a whole lot faster to pick up, uh, but it is not a necessity. You don't have to have it. This is a hay bale trailer again or hay or straw or grass or whatever whatever you're making bales this will pick it up again that's for a separate video uh, not a necessity you don't have to have this it just makes things a lot easier the next piece of machinery is a baler uh, to make the bales this machine here uh, not again not a necessity but it makes things a lot easier if you can afford one to grab one this does, you can put um, hay in here and will it will shoot it into where your cows give them bedding. Now, the next machine is a necessity if you want to make power food. Uh, if you want them to be at 100%, they have to have power food. And that's what this is for. Next is a water tank. They have to have water. This is a necessity. And almost finished. Next thing is a mower to mow the grass there are different options different ways you can mow the grass and pick it up uh, this is the one I want to show you just because it is the cheaper way and then last of all you're going to need a harvester um, again this is my tutorial world we don't have you know I bought all these tractors you don't have to have all these tractors obviously uh, one in particular that I did do is the one with the bucket I highly recommend this it makes things a lot easier I will show you that down the road Let's get started. As you can see, I have my fields planted. Let's get into how to do this. All right, guys, so there's three things that you need for your cows. You're going to need straw. You're going to need hay. You're going to need grass. I um, want to show you how to do all three of those really quick. First one you have to have is straw. What you do with straw is you plant wheat. You take your harvester. You want to make sure your straw swath is enabled. Um, and then you just simply turn on your harvester. And what you'll see is uh, you will have these come out the back of it. So I'm just going to go a little ways here to show you how it comes out. The next step is to bale this up. So I will go ahead and jump to when I have this field finished to show you how to do that. All right, guys, as you can see, I finished uh, harvesting the field. So the next step is to make the bales out of the straw. Uh, you can use the round baler. I just prefer the square one. To me, it makes things a little easier. Uh, so what all you have to do really is hook it to the tractor and turn it on and you just drive over the straw and it does all the work for you. Um, what I'm going to do is jump to when I get this field finished for the sake of time and I will show you guys the next step. Alright guys so I finished making all the bales. Uh, the next step uh, is completely optional. You do not have to do this. It just makes things a lot easier when it comes time to 
mix all these things for your power food. And, uh, all you're doing here is you grab the bale trailer uh, with a tractor or a truck and you just drive up and you're going to pick all these up. Just like that. Alright, I'm going to fast forward to the next step. See you guys in just a minute. Alright guys, so once you get your hay bales picked up, if that's what you just... Uh, or your straw bales, rather. Well, if you choose to do that, you don't have to do that. Um, the next part is to mow some grass. Now, either way, you have to mow it, but we're going to use the grass for two separate things here. So keep that in mind. I usually plant a field for this. You don't have to. You can use the grass that's around the fields, and it works the same exact way. What you're going to do is grab a mower of some sort. I just happen to use this one because it's larger. And then you're going to mow some grass. Granted, you will mow for both types. So I will show you the next part as soon as I get done with this row here and what the differences are between those you can see the lines where the grass is mowed that's how you know the difference alright let's turn this off I'm just gonna go Turn both of these off here, and I'm going to detach here just to show you guys the difference. Now, what you can do here, as you can see, I've already done some, is get a loader wagon. And turn that on. And then you're just going to drive over it just like you do the baler you can see down in the bottom right where it is picking up the grass we will do one roll of this here and then I will show you what to do with this grass once you get it alright let's turn this off alright the first thing you're going to do with grass is you have to dump this in the silo over here for your silage. Silage is used to make your power food here later on. What we're gonna do going to unload this here. Just press control I Alright, and we'll leave that there for now. What you're also going to want to do with the grass you pick up in the loader, let's go grab some more really quick so I can show you that. Turn this on here. Go up some more. And depending on how many cows you choose to purchase, is how much of this you're going to need. When we get ready to do the next part where we make the hay, I will show you a way that you can make this easier to pick up with a wind rower. But for right now this will do us just fine. you can unload this anywhere as long as you're in these little yellow bricks markers unload that that will fill that up and what I normally do is I just go ahead and leave my loader wagon here with the grass in it so you can just unload it later alright so I'm going to jump ahead 
I'm going to mow the rest of this field and I will show you guys the next step with, with the grass. Alright guys, now that we've got all the grass mowed, the next step is for this field is to use the tether. And all this does is it flips the hay around lets it dry out. Uh, excuse me, the grass around to turn it into hay. Um, I'm going to run through and show you guys this really quick. All you have to do is turn this on, lower it, and then you drive over it. And as you can see, the grass turns a lighter color. And that is how you know the difference. We have now turned this grass to hay. All right. I'm gonna jump to the next step, which is optional. You don't have to do the next step. Uh, see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we're back on the farm here, and as you can see, we've finished with the tether on our field here. And this next step is completely optional. You do not have to do this, um, but it will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. And this machine is called a wind roller. What it will do is take all these little tiny rolls we have here and make one roll. That way when we come back with the baler in the next step, it will make things a lot easier for us. I have to do near as many um, passes with it. I'm just going to show you guys this real quick and then we'll jump to the next step. As you can see, it's taking all those rows and making one nice clean roll for us. Just like that. Alright, stay with us. We're going to jump to the next step and we'll see you guys in a second. Alright, welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm not going to spend much time on this step just because it's something we've already done. It's exactly the same thing you've done with the straw. You're going to come with the baler, and make the bells, and then you're going to come back behind that with the bell trailer, which is completely optional. You do not have to do this, just like before. Uh, either baler will work, the square one or the round baler. I just prefer square bells so, so we've already watched this I'm going to go ahead and jump to the next step all right guys we got all the hay bales picked up we're back on the farm next step we got to do is get some water so what you're gonna do is grab your tractor and your water tank and you can go to any water spigot or you can just go down to the river like I have done here you simply back it up to the spigot or the river Press R to refill it. Uh, this is mandatory. You have to have water for your cows. Uh, let this fill up, and then I'll show you guys where to put this at. What I typically do is leave this in the area next to the trough. That way all I have to do is back a tractor up to it and uh, unload it. That spigot is on this side of the farm. I believe on the other game I pulled it up into the grass here, but it doesn't hurt a thing at all. As long as you park this somewhere inside this, the little yellow lines there, and then you will press I to unload, and that will fill up their water troughs. Alright, and you can't feed them more than for six days. Alright, let's skip to the next step. Alright guys, we're back on the farm. And if you'll remember, when we dropped the grass off here in the silo, this is our next step. As you can see, uh, it says compacting 6%. Now in order to speed this up, what you do is you can get a tractor and you can drive over, back over, We have fed our cows grass and we've given them water. The next step is to make their power food, which is a requirement to have them at 100% productivity. You're just going to keep driving over this until you get to 100%. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and speed up here 
until we get to that point so I can show you the next part of the step. Alright guys, we're back on the farm. And all I did was uh, sped up just a little bit to where the compacting is at 100%. I just kept driving over, just like this. And the next part is probably the longest part of this whole process. What you're going to do, is you're going to get out of your tractor. And walk over. You'll see that it gives you the option to blanket silo. What you're going to do is press R. And it switches it to fermigating silage. This process takes a long time, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to kid you here. This takes quite a while, and there's really no way to speed it up other than speeding up time. So rather than what make you guys watch that, what we'll do is while it's doing that, we'll go to the next step, get the cow's bedding ready, and then come back to the silage. All right, guys. So in this step, what we're going to do, while we're waiting on our stuff to fermigate, we're going to work on the cow's bedding and this is where the front loader that I suggested comes in handy uh, you don't have to use this you can use um, I mean really anything any of the front loaders will work just fine um, you can use the tail handlers here the wheel loader or um, the little skid steer Either, any of those will work just fine but for the, this tutorial, we're going to use the front loader here. Um, now, if you look on this trailer, you see the spout is facing that direction. You have to make that face towards where the cows will be. Uh, this step, however, is not mandatory. It is if you want them to produce liquid manure. They will not produce the liquid manure if you do not give them bedding. You just pull into right here in front of the troughs and you just press I. It will start spraying in their bedding. 